Are you some kind of freak? How did you get that strong? Hundred push ups, hundred sit ups, hundred squats. That's what it takes if you're trying to What's going on guys, it's Mac McCarty. Back with another video. We are live from Richmond, Virginia right now. So we are almost halfway through our season. We have played 24 games so far and we are 16 and eight and we're on a 12 game win streak. Uh, I play for the VCU Rams or Virginia Commonwealth Rams, just in case you didn't know, or you're new to the channel. We still get new people to the channel every day. So currently, uh, I am a closer on our staff. I am our closer and uh, I have made 15 appearances. I have a 3.7 ERA and I have 11 saves, which is actually the nation's lead for saves in D1 baseball. So that's a pretty cool thing right there. Um, it's just kind of crazy to think like just a year ago, I'm just in Washington and I'm playing Juco baseball and like I'm having a great time doing that. And I could have never thought that I would have made it this far and I'm doing the things that I am now. It's kind of, it's such a blessing. So. That's kind of an awesome thing. Anyways, so we just got done with our first conference weekend and we ended up sweeping a really good team in Rhode Island. So we're 3-0 in conference and this upcoming week we have another huge test against another really good team in St. Louis. And I feel like if we can have a really good series, we can make a statement and we can kind of control the A-10 if we do that. So I have a lot of footage from this last week and I'm really excited to show you some of the guys on our team, just what they're doing in live games. I mean. We have a really just talented team and there's a whole bunch of great players that I'm getting the opportunity to play with right now. Just some people who are really skilled and really talented. So I'm really excited to show that to you guys. So uh, enjoy. Here we go. This is uh, just some footage I picked up from our uh, recording software at the game. We get to use the Flying Squirrels, who's uh, the Giants AA team. So we get to use their recording. And uh, this is just some game footage from uh, our last series at Rhode Island. And then a little bit of a midweek game we played against Lafayette. So uh, here's our shortstop right here. He smacks up a single. His name is Zach Ching. He's really talented. And uh, here's one of our other starters, Steve Carpenter. And uh, our hitters just do a really good job of uh, trying not to do too much. And uh, we don't have a whole bunch of power guys, but we just have nine solid guys in our lineup uh, that give really competitive ABs. And uh, they just do a good job of doing that. And uh, here I am right now. And here's something I've been working on a little bit more is just trying to keep the ball down especially switching back to metal bats from wood bats and juco it uh it just makes a huge difference to keep that ball down because man do those metal bats go if you find if you hit some barrel so here's one of our uh starters right now his name's sean thompson we call him the bull and uh he's he's a senior and he's been really really good for vcu uh his whole entire career so um and uh here i am again that's a backdoor slider to a lefty i've been doing that a little bit more um, our coach calls our pitches and that's kind of new for me but I think that he does a really good job and he really understands how I want to pitch and how I can be successful and so that's been really good having him call pitches for me it just takes a lot of the thinking out of the game and uh, that's Paul Witt he was a freshman All-American last year and he's our three hitter and he does a really great job of finding a whole bunch of barrel and really driving in runs for us and uh, here's a cool story this is Sam Ryan He's a sophomore. He did not play much his uh, freshman year, but man, did he work hard. And he honestly, his mentality on the mound is so good. He believes in himself so much, and that's a really great mentality and thing to have on the mound. And uh, here's one of my best friends on the team, Curtis Bafus. He's six foot seven, and uh, he's anywhere from 88 to 90. And as you can see, he has an absolute hammer of a breaking ball, and uh, it really helps him get out. And uh, that's another thing we do, we bunt a lot, so it's really important that our uh, hitters get our bunts down. I mean, we score runs when we get them down, and uh, when we don't get them down, we don't score runs. So uh, there's Curtis with the inside fastball, good luck hitting that. And there's one of his uh, big breaking balls right there, and then throwing another fastball right by a kid. As you can see, his fastball has some velo as you watch three hitters swing right through it, and it goes right by him. And uh, here's another kid, his name's Braxton Wilkes. He's a fifth year senior, and he doesn't throw very hard. He's only 81 to 82 left-hander, but it really proves that if you throw strikes and you can locate your off speed, anybody can play D1 baseball. Like he doesn't have that much um, flashy about him, but he does a really, really good job of throwing strikes and filling up the zone. So again, there's Paul Witt. I'm telling you, he's been a dude. And uh, there's one of my uh, other good friends on the team, Mitchell Lacey. I call him Dragon Slayer, but uh, he smacks up a double in the gap right there. And he's been doing, he's our uh, captain of our team and he does a really good job keeping everybody up and uh, just leading our team. So uh, here's another outing I'm in right here. This is against Lafayette, as you saw those last two pitches. 
And uh, okay, so coming up, here's something I wanted to point out. So this is Andrew Schatz. He didn't play much at the beginning of the season, but he's someone who just did a really good job of doing the little things. Like you saw him hit a sack fly and then lay a bunt down. And honestly, he's gotten in the lineup because of those things. Um, it wasn't that he was hitting a whole bunch of home runs or anything like that, but he was just getting the job done when it needed it. And that's what our offense needed. So he's been finding a, a lot more play time, like right here. I mean, look at that. Perfect job, deep fly ball to right field. Not only is the runner at third going to tag up and score, but he's also going to move up the runner at second to third. So that's just a fantastic job by him. And uh, here's something I've been doing a little bit more. Uh, I only pitch from the stretch now, and uh, I've been quick pitching a lot of people when nobody's on because you don't have to come set. So that's a little tool if anybody wants to use when uh, nobody's on, quick pitching people, playing with timing. Um, again, it's important to throw, the, to throw a lot of strikes, but... Um, so overall, really good season. I mean, it's been really fun so far, and uh, I think we're slated to do some real big things. As you guys can see, we have some really talented guys on our team, and uh, we're having a really good season, and it's been a whole bunch of fun. So thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, hopefully you guys take this video as a little bit of motivation as something to work for, or if you're just watching to watch, that's cool too. And uh, so if you guys want to like the video, comment, subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram right here. And uh, I just want to say thank you guys so much for supporting me through all this. Um, I'm having a blast playing baseball right now, and I just I love sharing with you guys. Hopefully, I'll post a little bit more. No promises, of course, as I'm one of the most inconsistent posters, but that's fine. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you can DM me on Instagram. Anything training-related, baseball-related, that's cool. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, until I see you guys next time, peace.